Hello and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. So we need some uh, mushrooms. Hmm. Let's see if we can uh, check out the mansion of the deceased. Plural. Ooh, more gas. Digging, digging. All gassed up. Yay! It says for chainsaws only, but there's nothing here but fumes. Hello, how can I help you? Federal agent. <laughs> Know any great graphic adventure games? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. And yeah, now Dolores is Digging. part of the party. <clears throat> well, now that we've got a chainsaw. empty but it did its job freshly cut some kind of knob or valve looks rusty and immovable exposed wires that look kind of dangerous this must be where any water drains to. Promotions from businesses that close down in town. Hmm. Another welded valve. Why have so many of these valves? Didn't I just see this valve? Lots of valves, but no steam. Ha uh ha. -huh. Looks like a dark tunnel to me. I gave up looking at dinosaurs when I was eight years old. Didn't everyone? Yeah, but... Wow. And no, I never stopped. In this case, I'd consider labeling it as a potential floating coffin. Mm -hmm. Dusty boxes that are probably filled with spiders. If I open the door, it will just sink. There's nothing of interest inside these boxes.
yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going in here, but I'm getting plenty of dust. This might be what Madame Marina wants to trip on. I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. I don't think we need any more shrooms. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. I don't have a warrant for a badly tuned... I don't have a warrant for random bags. It's an ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. Nothing more to see. These bags... Nothing more... My, my nose tells me that my eyes don't want to look at that. <laughs> The prints are really clear. There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. Does look like a small little hole in the back of his head. Could have been made by this ice pick. But then, I'm not a trained coroner. Hey, we solved one. Okay. Well, since we went there. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? The future is never written. I think I found your mushrooms. Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. Well, who's the scumbag that did it? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine. <laughs> yeah, Helga. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I should right. have you arrested for possession. Fantastic. I'm sure my dealer will make a great witness. You win this round, witchy woman. Goodbye. Hmm. You got any gluten free donuts?
I hate this town. Thanks for the dust. I need to stay focused. It's my specks of dust. I really have to talk to my sister about reading the will before I can leave. Uh. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Chucky doesn't want to talk to you. Okay. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. It's good to see you again, sis. It's been too long. And whose fault is that, sweetie? I'm certainly not the one who abandoned the family in their hour of need. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was <laughs> always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. Mm. One a powerful leader and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people uh -huh. say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. Uh -oh. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. <laughs> I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flippin' blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Yeah. Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. What? Do you tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. <laughs> I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Collect 38 more specks of dust. Hmm. So, who is the lawyer? 
law offices? Seven. I still get lost after all these years. Pretty dark in here. And I keep misclicking the door. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Looks like an old It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Browse for your signature. My financial staying feel for some great, some great to make pillows that possible. Tron tube is amazing. Get back to you to explore. This will be endless. Da, da, da. Mr. Razon is a security guard. Huh. Due to himself. Da, da, da. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Wait, what? Mr. Reyes was killed. I guess it must not be our Mr. Reyes. <laughs> Stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting Kinda Hmm Uh oh Okay Mm-hmm Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Yep. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Hmm. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Uh huh. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Hmm. Where am I? Uh... Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Uh, right. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. 
with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Hmm, that seems useful. It's a red gel decoder. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made- These are in mint condition! No way I'm going to touch them. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder <laughs> who they are. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Hooray! Still don't know the number of the lawyer, though. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Mm-hmm. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Not a very hungry household, huh? This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. <laughs> This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3000 library filing lookup. I don't need to find any books now. Hmm. Case come radio. Well, I'm not sure what to do. But that'll be for another time. When we come back, try to find the lawyer's number. Have a good one, folks.